Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. Today is an exciting day because I'm going to be opening this box of nine prints that I won at auction. And it's always interesting because I've only seen these prints online and that's quite a bit different than opening them up in person. Uh, I'll also be talking a little bit about the history behind the prints. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Okay, let's slice this open and see what we've got. Always nicely protected. Just uh, get rid of this bubble wrap. And here they are. Okay, and we're starting off with a bang. This first one is a print I was very excited at getting. This is a triptych, and I don't usually collect triptychs because I find them difficult to display. It's by Kunichika from 1890. The title is Ichijo Modoribashi no Ba, or The Scene at Ichijo Modori Bridge, from the kabuki drama Ibaraki. According to the story, a samurai named Watanabe no Tsuna saw a beautiful woman by a bridge, and she requested that he escort her to her destination. And then suddenly she transformed into a demon and grabbed him by the hair. So he cut off her arm with his sword, and then the demon tried to fly away holding her cut off arm in her mouth. And Kunichika did a version of this print in 1883. You can see it down here. It's got the same composition, except uh, there's this eagle on the right hand side. I really do like my version of the print though. Uh, if you could see it up close, you can tell that there's this mica, the shiny mica on the black background. It's really cool. You can see this print in this excellent book by Amy Rigel Newland called Time Present and Time Past, Images of a Forgotten Master. What a great scene. It's not been backed and I'm really happy I got this one. All right, next up, let's see what we have. Uh, it's definitely been backed. This is a print by Kunichika from his Okubi-e, or Big Head, pictures. It shows actor Bando Hiko Saboro V as Osono, the daughter of Ichi Misai in the play Vendetta at Hikosan. And this is from an untitled series of 22 actor portraits done in 1873. And the role of Osono um, was considered to be quite difficult for the onagata to play. And the onagata were the men who played the female roles in kabuki dramas uh, because this role combined femininity and martial arts skills. Too bad it's been backed, but the colors are really nice and bright. Next, another backed print. This is a portrait of the famous artist Kunisada, also known as Toyokuni III. It's from Kunisada's 1863 series, Tosei Mitate Sanju Roku Kasen, or A Modern Comparison of 36 Flowers. The twist is, that this is the only print in the series that's not done by Kunisada. It's by Kunichika. It's the table of contents for the series. This series was done in 1863, and at this point, Kunisada is 73 years old. And here are some prints by Kunisada of the 36 flowers. Aren't they beautiful? I'm really interested in collecting some of these. This is from a series I'm collecting called Good and Evil Demon Mirror 
by Kunichika. It shows a series of bandits and samurai from Japanese history. This one is Jiro Saburo Tatemura, but I don't know anything more about him. You can see the samurai is in some form of combat. Uh, there's an explosion going on behind him and uh, below he's plunging his sword into an enemy. That's what I like about the series. It's, it's very dynamic, a lot of action happening. I'll add this to my collection page on the website. All right, I know what this is. It's an 1864 two panel print by Kunisada. We see the Kabuki actors Nakamura Shikan IV playing the role of Shusaku and Sawamura Tanosuke III in the role of Wakanahime in the play Kinoe ne Soga Daikoku Bashira. Goblin spiders were popular in Japanese legend and during the daytime they were just regular spiders but at nighttime when everything was quiet and still they would turn into these evil monsters. And I actually bought a version of this print about six months ago but you can see that the quality of the one that I just unboxed is so much better. And I will do this, you know, I'll um, buy the same print again and again in order to continue to upgrade the ones that I have. This is my first print by this artist, Shuntei Katsukawa. I think it's the oldest print I own. It was done in 1810 and it's from a series of prints on Enoshima, which is a small island. Shuntei's landscape prints were definitely influenced by Western perspective, which was unusual for ukiyo-e at that time. And uh, just for context, here is a photo of Enoshima. So you can see uh, the similar scene and composition. You can see that the uh, Japanese Death Watch beetle took some bites out of this print. And on to the next print. Only three left. Oh, awesome. This is the station Akasaka from Kunisada's 1852 series, The 53 Stations of the Tokaido. It's also known as the Actors Tokaido because it pairs kabuki portraits with the stations along the famous Tokaido Road. Each design features a half-length figure in the foreground with a border of clouds separating the actor from the landscape. And what do you think he's looking at through this telescope? Um, an advancing army? Um, no. According to the play, he's spying on a friend of his who's with a prostitute. And uh, in the play, he gets so excited that he passes out. So there's a lot of humor in some of these Japanese prints. If you're interested in Kunisada, I really recommend this fantastic book called Kunisada's Tokaido by Andreas Marx. And here is the print. Let's open this one up. It's wrapped a bit differently than the others because these prints came from different sellers. But I can already tell that this print is from an 1870 series I'm collecting by Kunichika called 36 Famous Tokyo Restaurants. The restaurant depicted here is uh, Kawanaga Yanagi Bashi. And this series pairs famous geisha with famous restaurants. The square panel at the top left shows either specialty food or some aspect of the restaurant. The large yellow cartouche on the right shows the series title, name of the geisha, and the restaurant's address. I really love this print. The quality of the ink and the paper. It barely looks 150 years old. And what do you think? You think this is a dog or a cat? I'm 95% sure it's a cat. It's a really pretty and fun series to collect. And the final print. This is another print from Kunichika's Okubie, or Big Head series. It shows actor Kawarazaki Gonnosuke, the seventh, as Kato Kiyomasa in the play Momoyama Palace from an untitled series of 22 actor portraits done in 1873. 
And this person depicted here, Kato Kiyomasa, was a samurai who was falsely accused of a crime and then placed under house arrest. However, there was an earthquake and uh, Kiyomasa left the jail and hurried to the palace to make sure that his lord was safe. I wish it was in better condition. There's this crease down the center and a lot of stains. I'm going to try to do some restoration. And back to this awesome book by Amy Rigel Newland. You can see that this O Kubi E is represented here. This O Kubi series by Kunichika is really sought after because of their bold and abstract designs. And that brings us to the end of another unboxing. Please subscribe and happy collecting.